Okay, I'm going to do a little video here on the HFE 36 Homesteader Mill from Hudson. This is a great mill. I love this mill. It, uh, it's done me really good over the last nine months. But my uh, Oscar 336 is supposed to be on a truck right now. So hopefully it is. Um, to be honest with you, my sawmill dealer loaned me this saw in October and said, here, use this until your saw comes in. Well, my saw didn't come in until this week. Well, it's supposed to be anyway. But meanwhile, I've put this sawmill to the test. I have cut 4,000 pound red oak log with it. I have cut um, numerous walnut, oak, white oak, hickory, cedar, everything. I've cut it all with this thing. I haven't cut any pine, I guess. But almost everything I've cut with this uh, thing. And it has really been a great saw. Um, there's a couple of little issues that I have with Hudson's design of this saw. Um, and I'll get into that here in a second. But uh, for the most part, I think this is a great great saw I'm, I'm trying to be honest here i like hudson but uh I'll, I'll i'll give an honest review of things first thing let's th let's go over is i put this temporarily put this electric winch on um just wired it right to the battery and then i've got this dangling and this is how i raise and lower the, the um it's it's not great but it's better than the crank the hand crank that was on it is just it's it's a huge rotation, and I'll tell you what, it'll tear your arm up uh, rotating that thing a bunch. So that's my first complaint. Um, my second complaint would be these mounts right here. I don't know why you can't mount these lower than up here, because if you lowered them down, you'd be able to get more height out of adjustment out of this. And as it is, you can get, uh, let's see here, right there, I've got 28 and a half um, inches of adjustment. And you can see that that thing there could go up. This could go up another two inches. So I could get 31 and a half inches out of this thing, which is about the maximum uh, cut, but it won't go up any further because of this. So that's a design flaw I think Hudson needs to look into and figure out how come we don't just rate lower those down so that we can raise this mill up the rest of the way. Another one is this, this nut and bolting system right here. Now, like I said, this is not my mill, so I didn't do this. But if I were to do that, if I were to buy this mill, the first thing I'd do is cut that off. Because when you go to adjusting this, your, your knuckles, bam, hit this. And, and it's a knuckle scraping sucker. So in order to adjust this, you have to do this. My suggestion would be either one, move this back to here so that it's far away from this or cut this off. Don't make this as long. Um, one, once again, kind of a design failure. And then another one I would suggest is that Hudson should raise this gas tank. Because when that mill is clear up there, that, uh, that fuel pump has trouble getting gas out of there. And the reason I don't have these straps on the fuel tank right now is because when I was doing a couple of big logs, I would literally take this gas tank and put up here. I would raise it up and I would, I would hold it up there or I'd put it up there so just, just temporarily for the first two or three inches of cuts because it will not um, suck the gas up that high. So I think this thing here needs to be raised up. Um, the water lube tank mounts right here. Um, I have no problems with it. That's what this hose goes to. That's, I've got it taken off right now. It's in my garage right now. So I'm getting ready to return this to the dealer. So I'm going to clean all the grease off of it. Uh, you know, put new grease in everywhere. I grease it every other blade, so it's got plenty of grease, but I'm going to clean it all up, put new bearings on the, uh, on the blade guides, 
these bearings back here this one here is kind of frozen up yep it is and this one here still works but it's loud you can tell that the bearings are about out of it so i'm gonna put new bearings there um, like i said grease it all up put a new bandsaw blade on it because he gave it to me with a brand new blade so i'm gonna give it back to him with a brand new blade um, and then he wants he wants the old hand crank which is right there so he wants the hand crank back on he wants it basically as stock as it can get oh and then track sweeps i think it should sweep oops Ew. i think it should come standard with these track sweeps right here now I, obviously mine are just some homemade track sweeps but the sawdust builds up on that track and in those wheels almost instantly. It should just be standard equipment. I know it's probably going to cost an extra 20 bucks, um, but it should be standard equipment. Um, other than that, I was really worried about the 16 horsepower Briggs motor not being enough. I mean, I was like, how am I going to cut through these big giant white oak logs that I've got? It did just fine. Yes, I couldn't go full speed. Yes, I couldn't push it as fast as I wanted to. But that motor cut through 30 plus inches of white oak material. And it did a it did a, a good enough job. This mill is not made for pro, you know, not made to be ran every day. Um, and I ran it almost every day. So it did good in that aspect. Uh for a homeowner who's going to cut a ton of 18 to 24 inch logs, this will be a great saw. And occasionally you're going to get a big 36 inch lot. This will be a great saw. So I'm telling you right now, people, Hudson makes a, a phenomenal product. And if you want a mill that will cut a 36 inch log that won't break the bank, this is the one for you right here. Anyway, that's it. Hudson HFE 36. That's my take on it.